Hi all, welcome to another RPA tutorial video. This is the part 3 of our end-to-end -end development video series. So in first and second part we have completed the development of uh, read data from configuration file in the form of XML format and also we have created a subtask uh, uh, which is creating a folder structure and we have done uh, other uh, things like you know login to the SAP and also we have implemented the error handling concept also so if you have not seen the first part and second part of this video series then i would request you to kindly see those two video first you can find the link for those video in the description section okay before start if you are visiting this channel for the first time i would request you to kindly subscribe this channel to get more rp related video okay so today we will continue with the rest of the development so now let me go to the automation anyway okay so uh, we are in automation anywhere a 2019 so let me open the master task so this is our master task so here you can see we are reading the data from the configuration file and our this sap folder structure bot is also here okay so last time or in video uh, part two we have done till reading the data from the excel so now i'm going to run this code to see till what we have done the development Alright, so you can see the bot is able to log into the SAP and we are here in this page. Now we'll continue with the development. So if you see this master bot, so here we are reading this information like the report name, you can see, and the start date and the end date, which is reading from this Excel. Okay, now if you see the SAP the SAP opens okay with the basic screen so this is the first screen and to download the data we have to go to the trans go to transaction code called SE16 after that you have to type a table name so for our case MARA is the table name once you press enter it will ask you to put the date so let's see we have the date here so I'm just copying the date so you can put whatever date you want to use so after putting the date i will just click on the execute so it will take some time and it will give you the output so now we are going to do the same thing for the three report which is listed here in the excel so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new subtask so for all the report we will create a different subtask and we will call it from the master task so I will keep this open I'm just creating a separate uh, task here okay so here I will create a bot so we will put the proper naming convention so you can see SAP report generation followed by the task name SAP report generation of that okay and I will select a particular folder where I'm keeping all the bot so this is the folder where I want to keep this bot So now let me go to the SAP so you can see the SAP data is available now so if if you want to see the data so you have to click here then it will ask you to select the uh, format okay which format you want so we will go with the default one and after that it will give us the option to 
um, put the download uh, location where you want to keep your data okay so this is the thing which we need to do so now let me go back to the main page and let's start with the development I'm just putting a comment here So you can put comment based on your requirement and it is nice to put proper comment so other people can understand what we have done in the code okay all right so we are here now now the first thing is I want to go to the AC 16 okay to use that we will use uh, SAP package here if you type here SAP so you can see here we have all the information or actions available here so in in A2019 we can automate SAP in multiple ways the recorder is also working here with the SAP and we have the SAP BAPI command as well as we have the SAP 2 so these are the things available here in the uh, SAP package so but we will go with this SAP package so here in A2019 we do not have options to use metaboard however we can use the DLL files if you want so here we have all the functions available here which we need to use okay so first we need to connect right so I'm just going to select this connect however we are uh, creating these connections in main task so uh, for the development purpose we will run this task many times so we will keep this connect here later on we will remove it okay okay now we have to use SAP GUI script recording to get the object ID to type AC 16 here I have to get the object ID for this particular box so I will go here and I will click on the SAP recording and here I will put the path let's say I'm just putting okay now I will click on the record and after that I will type here MARA then I will press sorry we have to type ACE16 then here we have to type MARA then you have to press the enter now I will do it these things in uh, smaller piece so you can understand I will just go here and I will open that particular recording or a VBS file which we have just now recorded Okay, so this is the so we can see here this is the code for uh, writing this AC 16 and this one is the code for writing the MARA so I will just do a copy I will go to the code and here I will use a set text okay in the set text we have to put this path and I have to put SE16 after that I have to press the enter to press the enter we will use the SAP keystroke which is available here is a enter after putting the enter the bot is opening another window so there we have to write down the table name so I will just copy this two line and I will press here and I will take this object ID so in A2019 working with SAP is now it, it's very easy and straightforward so no need to put more effort so all the logic and everything is available here only we have to use it so I have done with this part now I'm just going back to the home page and we'll see whether this code is running or not so I'm just running this okay so now okay so we can see here it is running fine only okay now after that we need to pass the date date criteria to get the data okay so once again I will 
use the SAP recording. So I'm going here. So I will put here. So let's say zero one zero one two zero two one and here I will put thirty first zero dot two zero two one. After that I will press this execute button. So let me stop it now. Okay. It will once it will complete then only we'll be able to pause it. Another good thing, I mean, I have noticed for this SAP action is like uh, no need to put any wait command or delay command. So it will automatically wait till the action is completed. Okay, so this is the one of the good things. So this is basically an inbuilt function which is uh, helping us on uh, getting the data from the SAP. So whatever action you will do in SAP, so it will automatically wait for uh, the concern time to complete the action. Okay, so now we have stopped it. So I'm just going to open this once again. So you can see this is the start date and the end date. So I will go to the automation anywhere. And after that, I will use once again, set text so okay let's do a copy from here and here let's i'm uh, for the time being i'm just reading this date i mean i'm just putting hard coded uh, later on we will pass it from the excel to the sap so same thing i will do it for the end date So we will take this date. After writing the date, we need to execute. Okay. So now, so we have to press F8 to execute. So that is the shortcut key. We will see that I'm not going back at this point of time. Otherwise, again, we have to wait for some time because we need to perform other action here. So I will just put a keystroke here and here from the down, drop down you can see we have uh, uh, all the uh, keystrokes is available so for that we will use the F8 to execute so we have done till here now the next thing is we need to download the data and save into a particular location okay so now I'm just going to a path so where we can so this is our SAP folder structure so we will download data here so I'm going here now we will record once again the script for rest of the action Okay, so I'm going here. We will record it once again with the rest of the steps. So from here you can see spreadsheet. So you can use a keystroke also or a recording both will work. So let's go with the this SAP recording only. Once you click here, then it will open this box. So we will go with this one by default and I will click on this green button. Okay, so here now it is asking us to 
put the path okay so here you can see this is the default path which is available here so what I will do I will use this download folder path and instead of this I will put like this and here I will put a table name as MARA okay and we will click on the generate so this box will come okay so we have to press allow okay so we can see here the data is available now so now let me stop the recording once again we have to put this information into the code okay so we can see this is the button which we have used so I will copy this so basically this is a button which will select the Excel part and you can put comment here I'm not putting comment otherwise this video will go for long so you can put a comment here so now what we have to do we are just doing a click right so now I will select this click and I will put the path so bot will click on this excel part right so you can see the spreadsheet after that we are getting the box to put down the path right so okay after that also I want to perform a click for this the options to select the format so by default it will be the same one which is already selected So I will put this okay now we will pass the uh, path and the file name so I will click here so I will put this path there okay so now we will see we we have left with uh, this uh, press button so I'm just pressing that all putting that also so again I will put that in uh, the SAP uh, click option okay so I'm done with this one so now let's run the code and see whether bot is able to download the data or not so we will not run the entire code so we will run it from here so what I will do I will use this um, this SAP connect here because we have in case if you want to run any code uh, from the middle of your code then we have to first put this SAP connect so I will run it from here and let me put the SAP in front so we can see okay okay so it worked till here now I'm just going to put this remember my decision so this box will not come but it can be again um, like um, uh, depending on your code if you want you can put that in if conditions so that can be also removed we can see here the error is coming the all file is already available okay so now we will go to the particular folder and we will again put the logic here so I will go to the code so beginning of my code what I want maybe I have old data available so if you have data available then it will give you the error so instead of that what we can do we can check and delete the files so I will just go with the if conditions and I will put here and here I will check for file exist okay and I will browse 
okay if this file exists then I want my bot to delete so I'll go to the file and okay so whenever we run so bot will first check if this file is available then it will delete so the error which we are getting it will not come all right after that let's say our recipe part is done bot is able to generate the report so now i'm just closing this so as soon as the sap report will generate the bot will open this excel so this is the excel where our data is coming so after that what we have to do we have to copy the data and bot has to come to this mara data sheet and it will put here okay so this is the thing which we need to do this in between that we can put some other conditions also if you want we can put some checks okay so from there we can check whether this data is available or not in there may be a scenario where we can get the empty data okay so first we will close this excel okay because this is the excel which generated from the sap so you won't be able to perform any excel related uh, actions here okay however you can do the keystroke uh, 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 like you know the performance but i mean i want my bot to open it okay because this is not open by the bot it is automatically or by default open in sap so first we will close this and we will open once again in our other task so i'm going here again i will put a conditions so we will go with window exist okay if mara.xls so i will just go here window exist then I will just select this so from the bottom we can see this Mara Excel okay okay if this is this window is available then I want my bot to close it Now let's test this piece of code whether it is running or not. So you can see the particular Excel is successfully closed okay great now what we will do we have done with this part now I'm let me delete this one I have deleted this SAP connect so once this Excel is closed now I want to perform rest of the action in my main task so I will go to the main task so this is my main task and here I will call that SAP task bot which we have just now created and we will do rest of the things so we'll go with the task board let's put a comment here all right so now we will select that file so i will go here so this is the table uh, i mean the file which we are going to call 
I'll just click here save so till now we have not passed any variable so I'm just leaving it once the code is ready we will uh, make uh, rest of the changes we need to implement the uh, error handling part also so that we will do it in some time so this is done now so now let's let's put that error handling first so I'm just going here so we will put try so inside my try I will put everything okay in the cache block we have to define the variables Okay, so we'll leave it as it is now. Later on, we will put other things, the error log and uh, the information log, both the things. So we are done till here. Now, after that, what we have to do, we have to open this Excel. So now we will again use a Excel command to open this Excel. So I will go to the code. We'll use this open so we will open this Excel then I'm just opening manually and I will check the data whether it is available or not so I will directly go to the line 2 so I will just use this get cell Okay, this get uh, single cell. We will go to the A2 and the value which we will get. I just want to assign into a prompt assignment to verify whether we have data or not. So, based on that, we will update this main Excel. So I'm just deleting this. Okay, and here we will put a string condition. Okay, and here we will select a variable prompt assignment where we are assigning the value okay if prompt assignment equals to null then I want my bot to update the status as data not available okay so okay so before that let's see the excel session name here so this SAP report overview this is the seat name now let's see the Excel session name is default so we will change this to something else like otherwise there will be a confusion so I will put this SAP data Mara table okay Okay, if prompt assignment equals to null then I want my bot to update the status as data not available so set cell and 
I will go to the specific cell. So basically my bot will come here B2. So I will put B2 and the cell value will be data not available. Okay, so that's all. Okay, if the data is available, then my bot will go to the else part. If the data is available then I want my bot to open this Excel and perform rest of the action no I mean we are already opening this Excel here so if the data is available then I will just copy and paste the data into the sheet the master sheet or a main template okay so now I will just use this go to cell now we will use our bot to go to cell A1 so I want my bot to go to the A1 okay because we have to change the seat name otherwise it will throw the error After that, I will use a simple keystroke to get the data. So I will just use keystroke. So this means this will be the Mara table. We have to select the particular uh, application name. Okay, from here we will use a control A to select all control down and we'll put A. So after that we will just use simple control C to copy the data. So from here bot will copy the data now I want my bot to go to the main excel which is this one so I want my bot to go to this MARA data sheet okay so we will again go to the excel action we'll see for activate um, sheet switch to seat is the option which we will use here and here instead of win, uh, index we will go with the name sorry we have to put the name here so bot will activate this seat and now I want my bot to go to the column A1 so I will just put here A1 okay after that it will do a control V so I will use this keystroke control V and here we will select the Excel name SAP report Okay, so now let's run this. I'm just disabling this because it will take some time to download the data from the SAP. So we have already data available. So I'm just closing both the Excel. And I will run it from the top only. So let me disable this two part also.
okay so we can see the bot is able to copy and paste the data here so okay after that like you know the user will rephrase this sheet to get the updated data so now we have done with this copy paste part so at the end i want my bot to close this mara excel which is a download one so i will go to the code so this one and i will put here sorry we have to just take this name i don't want to save so i will click here on the same okay so at the end once this is done i want my bot to update the status as data available i mean completed okay because this else when it will go to the else it means we have the data available so we will just put this as completed so now we have done with this part okay so let me put this here okay so after this the bot is able to paste the data i want my bot to again go back to this report overview sheet to get the data for other table called ekpo okay so now we will again use uh, switch sheet command here at the end we will put here instead of mara we will put this sheet name called S report overview so let me click on save okay so after that you can see here the sap is in this page right so now the second thing which we will start it uh, from the uh, main page only again we have to uh, put uh, informations like uh, the ac16 and other uh, table which we need to do okay so now we will start with the other um, sap subtask so this is the one subtask which we have completed okay for uh, sap mara table okay so let's have a look okay so we have good now we are good so let's move on so i'm just creating a new um, task here so i will just click here in the duplicate okay so so let's put a if condition here i will just put here now i will go to the sap let me go back to the main page and here we will put a conditions if window does not exist so whenever we don't know what window will be there so our bot will check for this if it is not available then it will come to this page so we'll select this 
from here. So this is the page. Let me click on save. Okay, if this window is not available, then I want my bot to go to this page. Okay, so now let's see I am in AC 16 where I want my bot to go back to the initial page. So I will just record this. just put slash in so it will take it to the main page Let's check this whether it is working or not. Okay, so this is working fine. Now let's move on with the rest of the development so once again we will start with the AC 16 then we will go with the other part so what I will do here oops, just removing this and from this task we will copy the object ID So for this AC16 at least we can copy. So I will just copy this. We'll use this set text. Then AC16. So I'm just going manually now and after that we have to type the T code called EKPO Okay, now let's let's run this code to see whether this is working or not. Okay, so this is working fine now. So again we have to read the date from this uh, seat and we have to put it to the there in the SAP. So now let's go to the code. Okay for the time being we will uh, put the date uh, um, hard coded okay. So later on we will implement this from the excel part. So we have done till here. Now we will go with the recording SAP recording now I'm just closing this so I will select this this then after that execute 
so it will take some time So here we need to put the path and the seed or Excel name. So EKPO and then I will click on the generate. So now I will stop it here, the recording and I will just select this. Okay, so now we will get the recording script. It seems it not recorded, so we need to re-record it. Or what we can do, we can use the script ID from here also. So now let's see. 
so after that we are pressing f8 then this is the code so i'm just copying this and here we will use click once again we will use a click to select the default path a default uh, selection Okay, so we have done till here. Now let me close this. I'm going to the folder to remove this data. Or, okay, let me run this first. Okay, so it is working fine till here now so I'm just going to put the conditions to close that file so we will 
check here so we have done with this so we will put the same concept here So let's check this part also. So this is working fine now. Now let me go to the master task. So we will call this uh, another table a task which is keep your report okay now so here I will just use this code so I will just do a copy paste and we will make the minimum changes here so instead of this MARA table we will change the name to EKPO same thing this logic will work here now we'll go to the okay here we will change the name to EKPO table so now let me open this to get the window name and this we will go to the B1 sorry not B1 let's see here Eco, EKPO is in B2 so here it will be B2 and also I have to change to here B1 okay rest will be the same so okay now I'm just closing this this Excel also and I will run it I will disable this because we have already data available here
Okay, I'm running from here. Okay, so we are getting some error unable to find the SAP Excel report. Okay. Okay, got it. We have to run it from the beginning because the path is reading from the configuration file. So that is the reason it is throwing the error. Okay, so here we got the error. Let me close this. Okay, so we will put another logic to remove this data. So currently I'm just keeping it blank. Okay, line 59 is giving the error. So let me see what happened to line 59. So this is the line 59, okay? The close Excel, okay, SAP MARA table. So here it will be A1 only. So by mistake, I have changed to B2. Okay, now so this will be again A1. Let's rerun this and see. All right, so I got the issue. So it is happening because of the delay. Okay, so we have to put the proper delay here because we are using a keystroke, right? Control A, Control C, and also we have to use a clear clipboard um, things to remove the data because we are using um, multiple um, action using keystrokes. So that is the reason it is throwing the error. Okay, so what we can do we will uh, continue these things in our uh, next video series okay so that would be the part 4 and in part 4 we will complete each and everything so we will complete rest of the development so we will left with only the one table 
and the error handling part and other things like you know passing data from the configuration files so those things we will do it in uh, the last part of this video and we will close this uh, development series so i know it is taking uh, some time because uh, you know this is a complete uh, real time project so i am just uh, doing the development in front of you everything so in case if you want to do you can do the forward and you can see the video by saving some time or right. so thank you so much for watching this video in case if you have any question or any comment you can either send us an email or you can put it into the comment section once again thank you so much